one of the greatest modern day miracles that we have seen, I've seen in my lifetime, has been Jews making Aliyah back to Israel or from all over the world. Yeah. Exact, I mean, fulfillment of the scriptures. That's right. But one of the second greatest modern day miracles is the fact that God's bringing Jews and Christians back together again. <laughs> What, what do you think about that? You, you see it all over the place, how God's uniting, bringing Christians and Jews. We, we just had, you know, um, we have Orthodox Jews that come here in right. our church here. And, yeah. uh, I mean, it's unheard of. And, um, it's remarkable. Yeah. And, you know, um, these are amazing, amazing times. And uh, we are seeing um, Jewish people and Christian people discover their commonality. Yes, mm -hmm. we have many things that, that separate us. And, yes, we... We don't agree on the identity of the Messiah and these things, but there is so much that we do agree on, mm -hmm. and we can begin to unite in friendship upon that which we hold common. And you know, even regarding, it's interesting, regarding the identity of the Messiah, you know, Pastor, we are united in that both of us are in faith looking for the soon coming of Messiah. <laughs> We, we, we believe it's his second coming. The Jews believe it's his first coming. But we're united looking for his appearing. Right. And that's even a place yes. of faith connection. Yes. That we're united in that looking for his appearing. I want to ask you a very radical question here now. Yesterday at uh, uh, the portion of, of uh, the seminar that I did yesterday, I talked about 2012 a little bit. And mm -hmm. I know you've heard a little bit about it. Mm -hmm. um, things the, the mind calendar is talking sure. about. Even I've heard the rumors that the Bible code is now you know, whether you know, I'm not it, uh, emphasizing the Bible code is also talking mm. about something disastrous happening in 2012. Mm -hmm. The comment that I uh, make, and I think needs to be heard all around the world, is that, uh, you know, most of these things that are being talked about, all of these oracles and everything else, are saying that the world's going to be destroyed in 2012 by water, but we know that God made a promise in, in Better Sheep 9 mm -hmm. that he'll never destroy That's right. the earth again by water. My, my question is this, um, you know, I know that it, Yeshua said in Luke that we're to look for his coming and mm -hmm. not for the end of the world. Um, what, what, ha, have you heard any, any, any interaction with this? Because mm -hmm. you and I both know there's a lot happening in the world right now. Yeah. To, you know, we had, the, we had the volcano there in sure. Iceland and we got all these earthquakes. earthquakes. Mm -hmm. But I really believe there's a connection with some of this stuff that's happening with the nations dealing with Israel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I, that could be maybe a, just an assumption, but yeah. you know, I don't think anything happens by coincidence. What, what, do, you, yeah. do you have any any kind? Of, well, now, we we would probably be talking more about this next year right. and in early 2012. But I'd like to hear something from you about it mm -hmm. now, if you could, Robert. Well, you know, Jesus Jesus was so clear on this, and sometimes we've we've. It's amazing how we are so selective with which portions of scripture we hear. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we'll just take a portion and leave out another portion. And, and we all, so often hear people say, well, Jesus says, you'll, you know, you won't know the day or the hour of, right. of his appearing and so forth. And of course, Jesus did say that. But just a few verses later, he said, but you will know mm -hmm. the times and the seasons. He said, you know, he said, you can look and see the weather and you can tell what's coming. You can, you can discern times and seasons. Mm -hmm. Pastor, you and I both, we travel around the world. I sit on airplanes next to complete non-religious people, people who have no religious inclination whatsoever, and they know yeah. that something is up. They, <laughs> they know that we're living in a very unprecedented, right. unique time in history. And so uh, my eschatology is, you know, be ready today. You know, <laughs> I, I, I want to be fully yeah. alive in Jesus today, fully alive in his kingdom today. And I think you would have to be in denial to not say that there is something unusual yeah. happening in this period of time in the natural disasters that we yeah. absolutely are seeing an increase of. I mean, an unbelievable increase. How all of Europe was shut down for weeks by this one <sighs> volcano. volcano right. And tsunamis and earthquakes mm. and the economies of the world absolutely shaking yes. and, and, and crumbling. It's a very, very unique time. And I, I just am excited that out of the midst of challenge, God's people are going to rise up in the yes, nations. I, I, I believe that, Robert. Robert, so good talking with you. It's an and honor to be with you. Thank you so much for, for the, the word that you imparted into us and the anointing that you left here at our ministry here in San Antonio, Texas. And uh, 
you know, I, I, I trust that you're going to come back and bless us again. Well, and I've found, I found my new home church. You know? <laughs> it's, it's right here in San Antonio. God is doing, and, and if folks who are watching have not visited, they need to come and experience what God Thank is you. doing here. It is, it is unique and extraordinary, and it's my honor to be with you today, yes. sir. Robert, let's join hands. And would you look into that camera, uh, Robert, and just say a prayer for all of those that are watching. And Absolutely. All the things we talked about. And, yeah. And I want to uh, uh, take this time to say that, you know, that the world may come and say some negative things about about the end times coming up in the next year or so, but have no fear. God's still in control. That's right. That's right. Well, Father, we thank you today for each person viewing this broadcast right now. And I just want to tell you, if you're watching this right now, that God has a plan for your life. God is aware of your situation. He's aware of what you're walking through right now. You are not an accident. You are a finely crafted masterpiece of God. And today we release the blessing of the Lord over your life. And as you call upon Him, and as you call upon the name of Jesus, we just declare that you will come into alignment with the blessing of God over your life. We speak healing. We yes, speak Lord. restoration. Thank you, Lord. We speak redemption into your life today. Have hope in God yes. because He has blessings for you as you draw near to Him in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom, shalom. God bless you. Amen.